without much waste of time anymore. I want to call up my mother. Through her, the Holy Spirit is going to inject something into you. And you will leave here with fire on your tails. Kaliba Shatter. And something is going to burn like never before. Help me welcome my mother, mommy, Mary, God change me. Oh yes, thank you. are so heavy tonight and the Holy Ghost through a particular instrument it woke me up around 1 a.m. and I couldn't sleep again until about 4 or so or 5 and there's so much he wants to do tonight and I really feel a little insufficient but I'm just trusting that all the things that the Lord had done from the one, the two, the three, up until now, it's already set the platform for what he's going to do tonight. Praise the Lord. And I'll give you the mandate for tonight. The first thing, one of the things the Lord wants to do is to repair contaminated wombs, heal them, cleanse them. There are many wombs that are contaminated and they got contaminated through both physical and spiritual rape. There are some people that have been raped. And because of that, they were never normal again. God is bringing healing their way tonight in the name of Jesus. There are some wombs that were contaminated because of abortions. And God is bringing healing. After tonight, the pain, the guilt, and whatever Satan did in your lives, both those, you know, are listening to me here and online, God will bring about a total healing in the name of Jesus. The third group of people are people that have been rejected. You know, those are the ones, that, that's one of the set of people that the Holy Ghost specializes in. You've been rejected all your life. Anywhere you go, anything you do, you've been rejected. God is reaching out, picking you from that place of rejection and setting you up in the name of Jesus. There are people here that lack favor. They just lack favor. God is going to put his name upon you. He'll put his beauty upon you tonight. And, you know, from now, from now henceforth, you know, you, you carry the name and the scent of our God. Hallelujah. And there are people that you call, I call, the Holy Ghost call them mistake prone. Everything you do, you always make mistakes. You always make mistakes. It's about to come to an end tonight. It's about to come to an end tonight. The spirit of accuracy will rest upon you. The spirit of precision will come upon you. The power of the Most High will rest upon your spirit in the name of Jesus. And one of the first places that the Holy Ghost begins to walk in a man is the place of intimacy. Hallelujah. Is the place of intimacy. When he brings you to that place of intimacy where you are one with him, he pours himself into you. And without you knowing it with time, you begin to talk like him, you smell like him, you behave like him, you begin to act like him. He, he, there's a pouring of himself into you. And that's the first thing he will do tonight. We'll just take a song that will bring us to that place of spiritual intercourse with the Lord so that he can deposit things in our hearts in our spirits seeds that will carry forth from here the anointing is very heavy already I can feel the hand of God already and the Holy Ghost bade me sing this song for hours in the night and I know that for some persons as the song is going on you already, you know, God is already walking upon your spirit, walking upon your heart. And I want you to forget everyone around you. Just forget that there's anyone around you and fix on him, fix your gaze on him. My lover, my lover, my lover, I held thee, I held thee, I held thee. My lover, my lover, my lover, I held thee, I held thee, I 
when you smile at us. There is a clash of a thousand thunders. while you're still praying I want you to listen because as we speak forth these are dimensions that God will release into your spirit tonight Job 39 the Bible says in verse 17 he said because God had deprived her of wisdom neither had he impacted to her understanding there are many of us tonight the Lord will release another realm of wisdom and understanding. God will impact it himself. Bible says, what time she lifted up herself on high, she scorned the horse and his rider. That's talking about the ostrich. Research has shown that she can run for seven kilometers, 70 kilometers per hour. And she looks down on the horse because she has speed. God is going to give you speed tonight. I don't know what time has been lost around you, but there's speed around you. God is releasing speed in the name of Jesus. Verse 19 says, Has thou given the horse strength? Has thou given the horse strength? Has thou clothed his neck with thunder? There is a release of the horse, the horse anointing upon people in the house this night. There's a release of the horse the horse strength upon people in the house tonight in the name of Jesus. He said, come down makes him afraid as a grasshopper. The glory of his nostrils is terrible. There are people tonight, every fear is going to leave you. There's an unction coming uh, that will make you unafraid of the enemy. There's an unction coming. Uh, he said, come down make him afraid. 
Can you make him afraid? No, because there's an unction coming. There's an unction coming. He said, poet in the valley. Whether on the mountain or on the valley, you are going to reign as king. He said, and he rejoices in his strength. He goes out to meet the armed men. There's a company of people that God is raising here tonight. When you hear there is war, in your spirit you run out to meet them. You run out to meet them. He run out to meet the armed men. It's not frightened. There's a release of an unction that makes you fearless. That makes you uh, even not to draw back in battle. Verse 22. He said, he mock it at fear. I don't know where fear has been mocking you. You are going to mock fear from today on. Each time you see fear, you will mock it. You will mock it. The Bible says he has not given unto us a spirit of fear, but of boldness and of a sound mind. There is a release, a supernatural release of boldness in the house in the name of Jesus. The Bible says he's not affrighted. Neither turn it away from the sword. He doesn't turn from the sword. God is raising an army that does not fear the sword. They run towards the battle. They run towards the battle. There's an unction coming. We run towards the battle. We do not turn away. He's not afraid of the sword. After a release like this, you will see people saying, God has called me to Samphara. God has called me to your best state. I'm going in the midst of the battle. I'm going right where the sword is hottest. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, yeah, Koba, yeah, da, 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 da. Yeah, but the woman has said, He said, the quiver rattled against him. The glittering spear and the shield. Uh, yeah. But what does he do when he sees the quiver? He sees the saw. The Bible says he swallowed the ground with fierceness and rage. There is a raging anointing coming. There is a raging anointing coming on someone. You swallow the ground. There is a speed that is coming upon you. Neither believe he that it is the sound of the trumpet. He said among the trumpets, when the enemy begins to blow the trumpet and say there is kidnapping, there is fear on every side. Guess what you are going to be saying? Ha! Ha! He's smelling the battle of fire. He says, Ha! He loves the sound of the trumpet. the battle of fire the thunder of captains and the shouting when he hears the shouting his spirit man is energized when he hears battle he hears battle something begins to happen something begins to happen brethren we have been in that place where you begin to pray higher and like Deborah, you will say, my soul is trotting down strength. My soul is trotting down strength. There is a power that comes upon you. And you can soar. You soar. You soar. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. That's the anointing of strength. And there's, there's anointing that will make some people fly tonight. Uh, that they hawk fly by thy wisdom. And stretch forth her hands towards the south. Uh, some people will fly after tonight. Uh, God will give you wings. Uh, he will give you wings. Uh, the Bible says wings was given to the woman. In the book of Revelation. Uh, wings will be given tonight. Uh, wings will be given. Elalalakuba. Uh, Ikatatatata. Elata. Yeah. 
will mount up at thy command and make her nest on high. After betting, the Lord will cause you to make a nest on high. You're going to make a nest on high at the command of the Lord. The strength of the eagle is resting upon people. When that strength comes, the Bible says you will dwell, you will abide on the rock. That's where you will stay. That's where you will live. That's where you will drink from. Upon the crag of the rock and a strong place. No longer will you go in today and come out tomorrow. You've fallen and risen many times. Uh, but there's a stained grace coming upon you that will make you abide. You will abide upon the rock. Uh, upon the rock. Uh. Hey, from that place, the Bible says from tense, she seeketh the prey. She seeketh the prey. Her eyes behold Pharaoh. God is giving vision tonight. You can see into 10 years. You can see into two years time. Oh! She sees the prayer from afar. A generation of people that will raise young ones and whatever comes out of you is also a hunter. He sucks the blood. He sucks the blood of the enemy. Bible says, and where the slain are, there she is. Whenever you see her, the one with the eagle anointing, everything around her is slain. The enemies are down. She's among the slain. None of, none of her victims survive. why even when your mother was pregnant with you Satan had already begun to fight he knew he knew he knew some of you wonder why do I suffer so much why do I go through so much hey there is a prophetic there's a prophetic call upon your head given by the word of God there's a bruising to your heel but you will crush the head of the serpent That some people grew horns. People will grow horns tonight. Horns of strength to push back the nations, to push back territories, to push back darkness. Kalatata. Yeah. I see horns. I see horns. That's the first one that is coming. Lift up your hand, I see horns. I see horns. I see horns. When I say horns, I'm not talking about some little things. Horns are growing. Horns of strength. Horns of power. Oh, my love, my love, my love. I held it, I held it, I held my love. the ones that you are giving horns in the spirit. Let your hand come upon them. Let your hand come upon them, O Lord. Let your hand come upon them. Akwale koma nasama. Ele kopre kataya na bashata. Le kopaya tatatata. Ele kaya na bashakataya bakaya. Ele katatatatatatata. Eya kamaya kataya ba. Shamana kasa kataya ba. Are growing. The horns are growing. The horns are growing. Kakwale Abahlo. 
There's a man to come in like a clot upon people. And then there's also the war, the warrior horse anointing. The warring horse. I've seen that anointing before. You chase the enemy down. You chase him down. And I hear the chariots of God. The chariots of God. And the war horses of God. Kaya Tayalaba. Ebrekatayada. I hear the chariots. Ayakaya Dadaba Shata. Oh. Akaya Ladaba. Ea Dadada. Ayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayay
upon your stomach region. There's a visitation coming. There's a young man here that God is about to visit. When the hand of God comes upon you, you will never be the same again. What is coming upon you is a cloak of fire. It's not an ordinary man, it's a cloak. But it's a fire. It's a fire. My father, I ask that you locate that young man. Locate that young man and put that cloak upon him. Put that cloak of fire upon him. Put that cloak. Put that cloak. Put that cloak. Put that cloak. Elatoba sata. Elekoba zakata yaba. Iakarabo seke bashata. Maleketo yaba shata yaba kata. Elatata. Where's the young man? Where's the young man? There's a clock of fire. There are some persons online too. It's been laid in my heart. There are people online. They are connecting with the war horse anointing. They are connecting with the fire, the dimensions of fire. Oh God. Mareka bayakataya. Mashabayakata madabasata. Ebreketo yabasata yabakaya. Lekopa yakata yabashata. Elekota yadabashata. Ereke bababashaka bayata. this month she prepares for next month there's no conception this month God is coming upon you every failure in your life is coming to an end from henceforth what you touch what you touch will conceive there will be a conception 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 Eswapela kata la mashakata ereka ba 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 ba. Ah, someone around my right hand here in the middle. I see a horse standing there, and there's a horse standing there. I ask Lord, whomsoever that unction is for, Baba locates them in the name of Jesus. You have a war horse attached to you. You have a war horse attached to you. Baba, locate that one. 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 Ala kwapayata. E kabaya katayaba. E kabasata.
are some people God is going to place power upon their hands now. For purposes of miracles, of signs and wonders. Lift up your hand. My Father, I ask, O oh God, that there be a release, a release upon the hands of people. Power, power for miracles, for signs, for wonders. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yesterday, I told us there were people that were carrying pregnancies. It is time to deliver. Some of you carry pregnancies. Some for two years now. Some for three years now. It is a season of betting. People are going to bring forth now. You are going to bring forth now. And we are going to bring forth now. Ah, yeah. Lay your hands on your stomach region. As we sing and worship, the midwives, the spiritual midwives, we help you to bring forth. They will help you to bring forth. You have carried that pregnancy for long. Ayakata. Ah, Release yourself in the hands of the Holy Ghost. And you are going to bring forth. You are going to bring forth. Oh, yes, Lord. I hail you. I hail you. I hail you. help me now, my Lord. My Lord. My Lord. My Lord.
of wisdom many times you've seen the vision you've received the direction but you don't know how to go about it I feel an anointing an impartation of wisdom of wisdom and understanding of wisdom and understanding on how to prosecute the plans and purposes of God mayako marakayatai for some of you, you feel like a touch upon your hair. And for some of you, there's a heaviness inside your chest. It's the deposit of God. It's the deposit of God. There's a heaviness in your chest. It's the deposit of God. to touch. There's someone right at the back. I can feel the unction coming for you. I can feel the unction coming for you. Right at the back. Holy Ghost, I ask that you locate. Locate that one. Locate that one. Locate that one. Capre to yaba kayata. Ile kenebo suale kaba. Ikwa bela katayaba. Right at the back. Right at the back. Oh! Shebaya. If you feel heat on your leg, is the speed anointing her. Be careful now to notice her. Fire will come on some legs. Fire will come on some legs to give you speed. To give you speed. Holy Ghost, let the fire come that brings about speed. That brings about speed. Anyone under the power, please bring them. Bring them. For lost time, for lost time, some of you have lost years, but the speed of the Lord is coming. The speed of the Lord is coming upon you. Both here and online, the speed, the speed, both here and online, you will feel fire upon your feet, fire upon your feet. Ay, 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 ay. Malaka baya kata, shabaya kata ya bakata. Hey. Those of you called into the deliverance ministry, the Lord is about to equip you. I see swords. I see instruments of war. For people called into the deliverance ministry, aye. My father, I ask that you begin to locate them. Those, oh Lord, called into the deliverance ministry. Ayakaba, equip them, equip them with weapons of war. With weapons of war, equip them, Lord. Equip them, Lord. Ayabaya kataya, ilekomena zakabayata. strength coming. There's a strength coming upon the evangelist. There's a strength coming upon the evangelist that that will make you rush into the midst of battle. Into the midst of battle. Into the midst of battle. That ilekede Oh! Bakata, Marekaba Baba Baba Baba, Ekwabrekata Yabashata Yabakata, 
Mashakatoya Bakayaba, Neswate Labakata, Ah, Mantaya Batata, Arekebose Katayaba. Those of you that have been equipped with swords and weapons, if anybody came under that power, please bring them out. Let me lay hands on them. Jesus.
challenge with your womb physically, there's healing now. If there's a challenge with your womb spiritually, there's repair.
someone. I will empower you today for the nations. The nations open up to you. The nations are opening up to you. I clothe you with my power. I clothe you with my strength. And I take you to the nations. Behold, I go before you. Behold, I go before you. I sat before you today. An open door. An open door. An open door. I want a car. I hear the Lord say. An open door. Alale kumaya. Here come a lataya. An open door. Shale taya na boda. Ile kabaya kataya ba. Ale kwa bela ta. Oh. Oh. Shabaya ta 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 ta. Abaya kataya ba. Aya. It's not for you, says the Lord. It's not for you, says the Lord. There are people here the Lord is saying, align, align with my will. For in the dream of the night, I saw Apostle Arame, and we're going on a journey, and we arrived at a place, and as many as took their place and aligned, the power of God came down. The power of God came down. I don't know what you're struggling with, but it's a season to align. It's a season to align. It's a season to align. Go ahead, choir. Go ahead, choir. Oh, yes, Lord. 